Hey everybody, this is Jim, jimthepilot.com. You can find me on the web also at ifoundjim.com. And I'm going to show you guys here. This is our float car. It's got the big long dolly here. That's the beaver motor. That's me in the sprinter, the spinner. And this is a beautiful beaver. This is my buddy Ted Narowski. He's a... We call him Ted the Pilot. He doesn't have his own website though. I do. But we're going to get him one. That's right, old Ted. That's right. By God, yes. Anyway, this is a de Havilland beaver. And I'm going to show you how to start a beaver properly. This is uh, the motor cold on this thing, or the engine, I should say. This is the panel right here. Beautiful panel. It's an undisclosed beaver. I'm not going to tell you the tail numbers because that's top secret. First of all, what we do is we push the mixture lever forward. Okay? And then I turn the battery alternator switch on. This is the uh, fuel primer right here. But before we do any priming, this here is the wobble pump right down here. And what I do is just give it a little bit of wobble and the gauge for the wobble is right here in the foot pounds uh, pressure. And so you don't want to go over the green. You want to be in the green when you do that. It don't get it into the red into the red because what will happen is you'll blow the seals out inside of the uh, wobble pump. It's possible you could. So that's wobbled up. And this primer knob is just a little... They're all different in the beaver. So this primer knob is just a little bit loose here. And you have to prime it up until you start feeling pressure in the primer. Starting to get pressure. All beavers are a little bit different. We're priming. Now we're getting it. I give it probably five good primes. And then I'm going to let Ted take the camera from here. All right. So then we take the throttle. And we give it about five of these, nice and slow. You don't want to go any, anywhere too fast in these things. And these are expensive airplanes, so you don't want to bust anything. The more you bust, the worse it gets. Okay, and then we just crack the throttle lever just a little bit. All right. The switch is on. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the start button and let the uh, airplane motor revolve about three or four turns. And then we're going to hit the mags. And then it'll catch. And you don't try to catch a motor if it's not starting by giving it more gas. It just, it'll start. And then what we do is go right over to the mixture, pull that about halfway back. You don't want to over, uh, you don't want to give it too much fuel when you're just idling. And then you automatically go down here and make sure that there's oil pressure. That gotta, that's got to go into the green, so we have to have oil pressure. If there's no oil pressure, you immediately shut the motor down. And that's it. That's it from JimThePilot.com and Ted Narelski. Right on. Whew. We're going to go for a little flight here up to the San Juan and have a little lunch. We're just on a joyride today.